G'day everyone. A lot of people say that when you've run out of things to talk about, you start talking about the weather. Now I think that's a bit unfair. The weather has a huge impact on our lives, whether it's the heat of summer that can risk sunburn or the colder winter keeping us indoors. Weather plays a huge role. It can even affect our mood. So over the next couple of videos, I want to show you how we can measure and maybe even predict the weather using some instruments that we build at home. And we're going to start by measuring air pressure using a barometer. Let's check out what you'll need. To make our barometer, we're going to need an empty tin can. Now you could also use an empty jar or something like that. Just make sure it's washed out really well. We don't want any mold growing in our barometer. You'll need a balloon and a skewer. Now instead of a skewer, you could use a pencil or a paddle pop stick or something like that. We'll need a small piece of paper. I'm just going to use a post-it note, a marker, some scissors, and some tape. The first step is we need to stretch our balloon across the open end of our tin. So I'm going to cut my balloon about halfway down and stretch it across the top. You want to make sure that the balloon's really well stretched across the top and it's not hanging loosely. Next, we're going to attach our skewer. Now I actually don't need it to be this long, so I'm going to cut my skewer in half. And we're going to attach the skewer to the centre of our balloon using a small piece of tape. Now I want to make sure that the skewer can still move up and down, so make sure you don't get any tape sticking it down to the other half of the balloon. So as you can see, my skewer is free to move up and down. That's all we need to do to create our barometer. Now let's talk about how we get our measurements. To use our barometer, we need to find a wall or a post or something outside that's in a bit of a sheltered area, not in direct sun. I'm going to demonstrate this inside, but for it to work properly, it needs to be done outside. You want to put your barometer up against the wall so the stick is almost touching the wall. Then you want to slide your little piece of paper in behind the stick and stick it to the wall. You want to make sure this isn't going to blow away, so a bit of extra tape or blue tack or something can make sure that doesn't happen. Next, grab your marker and you want to make a mark at the point the stick's currently pointing. Over the next few days, in the mornings and in the afternoons, come out and have a look at what's happening. At times you'll probably notice that the stick's pointing slightly higher, at other times you might notice that it's pointing slightly lower. Now it's a bit hard to simulate this, which is why I'm just pushing on the balloon, but you should notice this with changes of air pressure. When you start taking your measurements, have a look around at what's happening with the weather and this might help you figure out what's actually happening with our barometer. But if you don't want to wait that long, let's talk about the science. The way our barometer works is based on air pressure. As the air pressure increases, all the atoms in the air get squeezed closer together. That means the atoms in our tin are squeezed closer together, taking up less space, so there's room for our balloon to dip down, and all the ones outside the tin are being squeezed together, pushing down on the balloon, which relates to our lever going up. When the air pressure drops, those atoms move apart. So inside our tin, they're wanting to move apart, pushing the balloon up, and the ones outside the tin are moving apart, create, creating space for that balloon to rise. Low pressure is often associated with poorer weather, so clouds, wind, rain. High pressure, on the other hand, is often associated with warmer, calmer conditions. Now, it's not always the case, but we may be able to make some predictions based on whether our pressure gauge is showing that the weather's changing to a low pressure system or to a high pressure system. Now this is the first in a series of videos that I'm going to be making around different weather instruments you can make. I hope you've had a bit of fun making a barometer to measure air pressure and we'll see you next time.